Hi friends, welcome to Time to Learn TMPC. I am going to talk South Indian Kingdoms 6th Standard Term 3 History. Learning Objectives first. To know the Southern Indian states that emerged after the fall of the Mauryan Empire. To acquire information of the ruling dynasty such as Pallavas, Chalukyas and Rashtrakutas and their domains. To understand their contribution to society and culture with reference to literature, art and architecture. To become familiar with the artistic and architectural splendor of Mamalabaram Shore, Temple, Elora Monuments and Elephant Cave Temples. South Indian Kingdoms By the early 7th century, synchronizing with their Harsha's reign in the northern the fourth south had come up under the control of the Pallava kings of Kanchipuram. Pallava sovereignty included the domains of the Cholas and Pandyas. The later were their emerging as ruling dynasties in their respective river valley regions. Much of the central and eastern Deccan was under the Chalukyas of Padami, Vatapi, who were then pushed away by the Rashtrakutas. The medieval period in India was marked by three emergence of regional centers of power. There were no single imperial powers like Mauryas or Guptas who exercised control over the greater part of India in this period. The Pallavas The Pallava kings ruled around the prosperous agrarian settlement and important trade center of Kanchipuram on the southeast coast of India. Kanjivaram was well known to Chinese and Roman merchants. From the flourishing trade center of Kanjivaram, the later Pallavas extended their sovereignty over all the Tamil-speaking regions during the 7th and 8th centuries. The central part of their kingdom, however, was Tondaimandalam. A large political region compromising northern parts of Tamil Nadu and the adjoining Andhra districts. Pallava territories Kurthurkanga, then the pink color mentioned Pallava territory. Sources Inscription Vande Mandaga Patti Cave, Eye Hole Inscription of Pulikes in Two, Copper Plates, Kasakudi Plates, Literature, Matti Vilasa Parahasana, Avanti Sundrakada, Kalingatu Parani, Periya Puranam, Nandi Kalambagam. Foreign Notice Accounts of Chinese Traveler Hun Sang. Pallava genealogy prominent kings. There were early Pallava rulers who were fiduciaries of Satavhanas, Simma Vishnu, Siv, son of Simma Varman II, around 550 AD, created a strong Pallava kingdom after destroying the Kalapras. He defeated many kings in the south, including the Cholas and the Pandyas. His able son was Mahendra Varman I. He was succeeded by his son Narasimha Varman I. The other prominent Pallava rulers were Narasimha Varman II or Rajasimha and Nandi Varman II. The last Pallava ruler was Aparajita. Mahindra Varman 600 to 630 AD contributed to the greatness of the Pallava kingdom. Mahindra Varman I was a follower of Jainism in the early part of his rule. He was converted to Saivism by the Saivite saint Appar Trinavakarasar. He was a great patron of art and architecture. He is known for introducing a new style to Dravidian, Dravidian architecture, which is referred to as Mahindra style. Mahindra Verman also wrote plays including Mattavilasa Parihasana, the, relate, the delight of the drunkards in Sanskrit, which denigrates Buddhism. Mahindra Verman reigns involved constant battles with the western Chalukya kingdom of Padami under Pulikesin II. Pulikesin seemed to have defeated Mahindra Varman in one of the battles and taken over a large part of his territory, Vengi in the north. His son, Narashima Varma I, avenged the defeat by capturing Vatapi. The capital of Chalukyas, he set Vatapi on fire, killing Pulikesin in the process. Narachima Varman II, also known as the Rajasimha, was a great military strategist. He exchanged ambassadors with China. His reign was comparatively free from any political disturbance. Therefore, he could concentrate on temple building activities. During his reign, the famous Kailasanada temple at Kanchipuram was built. 
நரசிம்மவர்மன் ஒன்ஸ் ஆர்மி ஜென்ரல் வாஸ் பரஞ்சோதி பாப்புலர்லி நோன் அஸ் சிறு தொண்டர் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி த்ரீ சிக்ஸ்டி த்ரீ நாயன் வாஸ் பரஞ்சோதி லெத் தி பல்லவ ஆர்மி டியூரிங் தி இன்வேஷன் ஆஃப் ஃபதாபி ஆஃப்டர் த விக்ட்ரி ஹி ஹேட் சேஞ்ச் ஆஃப் ஹார்ட் அண்ட் டிவோட்டட் ஹிம்செல்ஃப் டு லார்ட் ஷிவா பெரிய புராணம் நேம் ஆஃப் த கிங் டைட்டில்ஸ் அடாப்டட் சிம்ம விஷ்ணு அவன சிம்மா மகேந்திரவர்மன் ஒன் சங்கீர் நச்சதி மத்தவிலாசா குணபஹாரா சித்திரக்காரபுலி விசித்திர சித்தா நரசிம்மவர்மன் ஒன் மாமல்லன் வதாபி கொண்டன் பல்லவாஸ் கான்ட்ரிபியூஷன் டு ஆர்கிடெக்சர் பல்லவா பீரியட் இஸ் நோன் ஃபார் ஆர்கிடெக்சரல் ஸ்ப்ளெண்டர் த ஷோர் டெம்பிள் அண்ட் வேரியஸ் அதர் டெம்பிள்ஸ் கார்டு ஃப்ரம் கிரானைட் மனோலிதிஸ் அண்ட் வர்ஹா கேவ் செவன் சென்ச்சுரி அட் மாமல்லபுரம் ஆர் இலுஸ்ட்ரியஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் ஆஃப் பல்லவா ஆர்கிடெக்சர் இன் நைன்டீன் எயிட்டி ஃபோர் மாமல்லபுரம் வாஸ் ஆடட் டு த லிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் யுனெஸ்கோ வேர்ல்ட் ஹெரிட்டேஜ் சைட்ஸ் பல்லவா ஆர்கிடெக்சர் கேன் பி கிளாஸிஃபைட் அஸ் ராக்கட் டெம்பிள் மஹேந்திரவர்மன் ஸ்டைல் மோனோலிதிக் ரதாஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்கல்ப்சரல் மண்டபாஸ் மாமல்லன் ஸ்டைல் ஸ்ட்ரக்சரல் டெம்பிள்ஸ் ராஜசிம்மன் ஸ்டைல் அண்ட் நந்திவர்மன் ஸ்டைல் மஹேந்திரா ஸ்டைல் த பெஸ்ட் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆஃப் மஹேந்திரவர்மா ஸ்டைல் மோனமன்ஸ் ஆர் கேவ் டெம்பிள் அட் மண்டகப்பட்டு மஹேந்திரவடி மாமண்டூர் தலவானூர் திருச்சிராப்பள்ளி வல்லம் திருக்கழுக்குன்றம் அண்ட் சியமங்கலம் கேவ் டெம்பிள் மண்டகப்பட்டு கீழ் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க மாமல்லா ஸ்டைல் தி ஃபைவ் ரதாஸ் சேரியட்ஸ் பாப்புலர்லி கால்ட் பஞ்ச பாண்டவர் ரதாஸ் சிக்னிஃபை ஃபைவ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஸ்டைல் ஆஃப் டெம்பிள் ஆர்கிடெக்சர் ஈச் ரதா has been carved out of a single rock so they are called monolithic the popular mandapas pillar pavilions they build the mahishasura mardini mandapam tirumuthi mandapam and varaha mandapam panja pandava rathas the most important among the mamalla style of architecture is the open art gallery several miniature sculptures such as the figure of fly speaking monkey Elephants of huge size and the figure of ascetic cat have been sculpted beautifully on the wall of a huge rock. The fall of the river Ganga from the head of Lord Shiva and the Arjuna's penance are notable amongst them. The great penance panel is considered to be the world's largest open air bass relief. Arjuna's penance Raja Simma style Narasimhavarman II, also known as Raja Simha, constructed structural temples using stone blocks. The best example for the structural temple is Kailasanada Temple at Kanchipuram. This temple was built by using sandstones. Kailasanada Temple is called Raja Simheshwaram, Kanchi Kailasanada Temple. Nandivarman style, the last stage of the Pallava architecture is also represented by structural temples built by the later pallavas this the best example is vaikunda perumal temple at kanjivaram kanji vaikunda perumal temple society and culture the pallavas supported jainism buddhism and the vedic faith they were great patrons of music painting and literature some of the pallava kings patronized the alvas and nayanmas these exponents of bhakti cult preached a new, fra- new form of Vaishnavism and Saivism. Among the Saivites were Appar and Manika Vasagar. Among the Vaishnavites were Nammalwar and Anandal. The Bhakti movement aimed at preaching a popular faith in which prayers in Tamil were preferred to those in Sanskrit. Women were encouraged to participate in the religious congregations. The Tamil devotional cult was competitive with buddhism and jainism therefore the latter suffered a gradual decline in moon in most parts of tamil country second part paakala thank you marakama share pannunga subscribe pannunga pakkala bell icon click pannunga thank you